Hello, I'm Lucy Piper. As we all know, children have boundless energy. Uh, this can leave them vulnerable to injury, particularly broken bones. With me is Clive James from St John Ambulance to answer questions on what procedures to follow when we suspect a broken bone. Welcome to Clive and Mum Fiona and little Sam there. So Clive, first things first, um, what should we do if we suspect our child has a broken bone? First thing to do is not to panic. Uh, broken bones, easily repaired, and what we really need to do is just make sure we look after the child. Uh, sometimes they're not as obvious. You know, you've got to know your child. And mums will tell you, they know their child, they know when there's something wrong. And if a child is particularly guarded against a certain part of the body, then obviously you'll suspect there is something wrong there. Uh, we obviously look out for certain things as well. Broken bones, whether it's an adult or a child, will always manifest themselves in the same way. There'll be swelling, there'll be bruising. The bruising might not be instantaneous, but certainly the swelling will come up, and obviously pain. Mm. Okay. Uh, I know Fiona's got a question for you. Once you know your child's broken their bone, um, is there anything you can do to prevent any further injury? Keep it still. Uh, gone are the days when we used to bandage everything up. Mm. Uh, if we bandage things up quite often now, they'll have to unbandage them. So, what so you we don't bandage. No, what we suggest is really and truthfully just keep, keep it nice and steady, support it. If you think it's broken, then as best you can, immobilise it and get the child to hospital. And if you've got any concerns, then call an ambulance. Okay. What's the difference, Clive? How do you know if your child has got a sprain or a fracture? Because obviously it's quite hard to tell. With it the child. can be very difficult, and sometimes there's a very fine line between the two. Uh, what we suggest is if you suspect a, a sprain, and sprains only affect joints. Right. You can get strains in muscles as well that can be quite painful, but sprains only affect joints. So if you get a swelling and you suspect they may have twisted an ankle, we suggest you use what they call a rice procedure, which is rest to so take the weight off it, ice, an ice pack wrapped in a triangular bandage, and then compressed around the site, and then elevate it. Right. Never put ice directly onto the skin, and only keep the ice pack on for about 10 minutes. Mm, mm. Yeah. But nice and relaxed, take it off after that, and if that's relieved the symptoms, fine. And once again, I can't stress it enough, if you've got any concerns, call yeah. for help. I was going to say, if, if you've done all of that and you, you're still worried or in doubt, we wouldn't be wasting the ambulance's time to give them a call. No, not at all. And out. don't forget, you've also got the NHS helpline now as well. They can give advice over the phone as well. Brilliant. So there's, it's not just the ambulance now, you can phone for advice through the NHS as well. Lovely. Thank you very much, Clive. So to recap, if you suspect a sprain, remember, rest, ice, compress and elevation. If you suspect a broken bone, try to steady, support and immobilise the child. Then get to hospital, but do call an ambulance if you need to.